everyone, Debbie here. Today is Monday the 22nd of February 2021. 2222021. And it adds up to 11, and 11 in numerology is a gateway. Two doorway posts, two goal posts, and to walk through. It's a doorway today, and we couldn't have a better start with this number one. Here's the number one Roman numeral, and it is the magician. We can make magic today. Yay! So he's got his red coat on, so have I got red on. So that's grounding us to be able to move forward with any projects that we might be interested in bringing to reality. So that is great. Over these last few months, and with 2020, I'm sure, 2020 vision, that we were all on that roller coaster ride or that merry-go-round. And when the pandemic hit and we were forced to all stay at home, look at our lives, look at exactly what we were doing. We were actually chasing the dollar, um, running ourselves ragged, forgetting about our health, forgetting about our relationships. To me, the magician says it all. We can take power back. We can be in charge of the four elements in our life our emotions and our love and our affections and relationships. We have the coin, which is about our finances and running our life the way we want to have it run, not how somebody else tells us that we've got to do it. Then we've got the sword, which is our thoughts. Our thoughts are becoming more clearer because we are actually looking for a quieter, open space for those great ideas to come in and we're finding some normality and some true essence of our authentic self rising up in our thoughts and self-care as well. And then we have the wand or the rod and that's your purpose in life. And our purpose in life is not just to make money, to have the flash pool and car and you know all of those lovely trappings. We have to have food on the table. We have to have a piece of furniture to eat that food at. We have to have a TV these days perhaps not really, a mind hardly goes on. But the fact is that when we actually take stock of our lives and look at what we really want, different things are coming up, aren't they? We're actually finding that we would prefer to do things a bit differently. Be the owner of your life. Be the one to make the choices for yourself in the future, not your bosses, society, governments, then you will find true abundance. This is abundance all around this fellow and he's really getting in touch with his higher being, his high, higher self, his aim, his game, his purpose, his reason for being in this body. He's keeping grounded so he's also loving the earth and I think that's what we need to do. We need to love the earth more all over these last few centuries, the earth has copped a pounding and we have to make a stand for mother nature and for our own nature, looking after self from now on. The next card is another major arcana card and they're amplified meaning and we have the star here. You can be the star of your show. You are the star of your show. Every single one of us has an essence inside us that is so pure, so unique, so gorgeous like the star here you're sparkling and people can walk into the room and you can see the sparkle in their eyes and most of the time you'll find that they're the people that aren't racing and rushing and worried about the dollar they've actually done work on themselves and they've actually found inner peace wow i think we're all headed towards finding inner peace and finding that tranquil place inside us and that's exactly what this card shows we we have a jug of water here pouring it into the earth so our emotions we can pour those emotions out onto the earth get rid of the old stuff pick up some new stuff pick up some new emotion and some new ways of looking at things freshen up your whole approach be naked be open find out who you really are whatever your name is say that out loud say i i don't know who Debbie is. I don't know who I am. What do I really want out of life? I'm here for a short time. It's not a long time that we're on this earth. Believe me, the years have flown. And I want to make the rest of the time on this earth make uh, an impact, a difference. But, um, I'm not saying I want to be able to imprint the world with 
uh, my ideas, definitely not. But I would like to think that I could feel completely fulfilled, not fulfilling a role or a job or a play, being a part of a play, like sometimes people just expect you to be a certain way. No, I want to be me. I want to be able to show my true self, warts and all, and people will still love you. And, and that is what's happening. I know a lot of people with the Breathworks, a lot of people I'm having lots of things to do with. We are embracing when they're down and out, when they need a hand, when they need support, and we're also embracing when they're bright and happy and shining like a star, like this one here. Last card is a pretty interesting one because it's literally an eclipse, which at night time when you have an eclipse, the sun, uh, I mean, the moon coming across the sun and this, I mean, the sun <laughs> in an eclipse, the night sky can appear almost like an eerie uh, light. It's like, not like day, it's like, maybe like a photo when you see the negative. It's like that sort of a feel when you have an eclipse. But in this card, it's saying that you need an eclipse to wake you up and make you see that you can have all these wonderful uh, feelings and emotions. Your life's not over, you've had wonderful things, you've got all these cups to show proof of what's gone on in your life. But you're still looking for something, you're still walking away over the mountains in the darkness of night, but it's been lit up by a light. And I believe that's your inner light. Your inner light is knowing that you have got something else that's even more special than all these cups here and you're wanting, wanting to search for that. And I believe that's what a lot of us are like at the moment. So keep searching, keep watching, because the cards pretty well tell me what is happening around the bend. So we have numbers wise, we have 17 is the star, and 18 is with the, the, that one there, and then another eight. So 26, two and six is eight, and eight is infinity, and that lovely eight on the side, is infinity and it's just all about where we're headed. We're going around the curve, across the crossroads, back up and around again. We might have a few down moments and that's life. Then we come up and we'll have that lovely flow of life and we can support each other through this. We don't have to be expecting everyone to be like on show all the time. If someone's down, if they're showing their vulnerability, admire that because that's a big thing to do when we've been brought up in our lifetime to soldier on. Don't cry, don't cry, come on, chin up. No, we need to actually feel our feelings and we need to feel and see who we really are. Welcome to the world. Have a lovely Monday and see you tomorrow, bye.